Look at this amazing view we had on our way to Kakwani, guys. These sand mountains are spectacular, as well as the lovely lakes we see along the way. And all the houses were covered, literally covered. Wow, over there. Yep, literally covered. Make sure you watch to the end of the video. I'll also tell you about an award I won from the Guyana Cultural Association of New York. Enjoy! Hey guys, welcome back to the Shop and the Show. I mentioned before on Facebook that I received an award from the Guyana Cultural Association of New York and today I'm going to do the video about that award. This is the award. It's the Godfrey, Godfrey Chin Prize for Heritage Journalism and I got the second prize. This is a, a Guyanese organization based in Brooklyn, New York. In this video also, I want to tell you about my trip to Kokwani. I want to take you along on the trip with me. We had such a wonderful time on our way to Kokwani. We, uh, we went to Takama where the government is planting uh, soya bean. And I think they started growing millet as well. And um, we were happy to go and, and check that out. So you guys are going to see it. Also, we went to see the Takama Crossing. And um, it's beautiful in there. They're doing developmental work there. We went with this, tour, our tour guide is Shahab. He is from Lenora and he takes people to tours and Letem, Kwakwani and all those areas. Uh, we, we couldn't do the Letem tour, we wanted to, but the road was really, really bad. Hopefully another time the road will get really good and we can do that trip, can do the Irokurama rainforest and everything. And uh, yeah, we went through the Aituni, road as well this is just one part of the video and, the, and i want you to continue watching for the other part because we're going to give you a nice surprise of somewhere beautiful that we discovered but i'm going to save that for the other video and now it's time for the award ceremony so sorry i wasn't able to make it but i'm grateful that my nephew aslam and his wife sanita Hi, everyone. were there we are currently at the guyana cultural association of new york they created a beautiful event set up here in the heart of Brooklyn. And now we will enter the event room where the dinner is hosted for the awards ceremony. As we head towards the center of the room, we can see the Guyana flag colors being represented beautifully and food is being served here as well. As you can see, it's a very beautiful setup. And here I am heading towards our table. Overall, Aslam and I had a wonderful time at the Guyana Cultural Association of New York. It was a pleasure learning more about the culture and heritage of Guyana and different diverse groups being represented. Uh, we would like to congratulate Auntie Shabna and the Shabna Show as well for being recognized by the New York State Assembly and the Guyana Cultural Association for highlighting Guyana and the Guyanese community in New York and back home. Congratulations to my other two YouTube colleagues who got this award. And um, I want to thank the Guyana Cultural Association of New York for doing this great job, for recognizing content creators and all other artists who are involved in, in showcasing their talents in some way or the other. It was also an honor to receive two other recognitions on that day. This one here is uh, the New York State Senate citation. This was signed by um, Roxanne Fassad. She's a Guyanese. This one, as you can see, it's the United States House of Representatives, Congresswoman Janet Clark. So thank you also for these two recognition. I'm very, very happy for receiving these. And for this one, I hope the again, the Cultural Association of New York can continue their good work in recognizing Guyanese for what they're doing, whether it's uh, in Guyana or here in New York because I'm currently here right now and uh, I I'm sorry I wasn't able to attend the award ceremony but my nephew Aslam and his wife Sanita did the honors for me and I'm very grateful that they were able to go there and represent me and uh, collect the award on my behalf. Thank you so much, Sanita and Aslam. You've got, you guys have always been supportive of the Shabna Show. And thank you to all my viewers and supporters, uh, my subscribers. Without you guys, I never could have done this. It shows that um, the effort that I'm putting into my shows are really paying off. And I'm happy. And you guys can look out for more great content. 
Thank you so much once again, and please continue supporting the Shabna Show. The second prize goes to Shabna Rahman. Uh, Shabna has, uh, for her show, she, the show is on YouTube, Facebook, and TikTok, and is an important source of information on Guyanese social life at home and in the diaspora, especially in New York. It attracts more than 8,000 subscribers and has so far garnered 2 million views. Accepting the award on my behalf is my nephew, Aslam Hussein. Before I take you on the Kokwani trip, have a look at this amazing product. I want to tell you about this lovely present that I received. Um, it's, it's an Argo Well product, and it's an air wax remover, it's wireless air endoscope. It means that it has a camera. And you can actually put this into your air and you see what's going on. But before that, you have to connect the Wi-Fi with this device. Press the power button at the side and when it lights up, you know it's ready. Once you connect, you pair them and you get to see what's going on in your ear from your phone. How cool is that? You actually, you know, many times you want to know what is going on in your ear, what is happening in there, but you, you just can't see. So here's your chance to see what exactly is going on in there and, and imagine you can just go put point it in there and you get to pull it out. I got so excited when I saw that for the first time. So this device comes with a C point, C port USB cable that you can charge it on. You plug it on this end and it comes with these little silicone tips so you don't hurt your ear by using this. Also it came with all these other tools which you can change. It comes with an instruction which you can read and you can find out more about it. First you scan the barcode and then you get it on your phone and then you connect the rest and you can have fun with it at the same time while you're cleaning your ear. So you guys can check the link in my description and you can purchase it. Now let's head to Kokwani together. We're crossing the Demerara Harbor Bridge now, and you can see that work on the bridge is in progress. I can't wait for the work to finish by March next year, when is the deadline, because it will be such a relief to ease the traffic congestion at the bridge. We just made a stop at the supermarket on our way to grab a few items to take on the trip. It's a very big supermarket. What are you getting? Okay. We're passing through Linden to get there. I'll return another day to give you a tour of Linden. This is a beautiful place. Continue our journey now. We can drive while we're doing it. Beautiful. That's the Demerara River. Still. The black water. It is very still. Which one? East Montgomery East Road. Montgomery. And where it takes you? I think it takes you. Lin Mai.
Yeah. You're gonna go and um, you're gonna see the actual other road that take you into the mines now. There's a new road. I don't know if they're still using this one there, right? Wow, what a beautiful view. Look at this amazing lake. We're gonna stop at one just now, don't worry. Beautiful sand mountains. But that's backside between the sand. Oh. Look at that picture, so. <laughs> that, I'm recording you. You would never believe Guyana is so beautiful. Look at this. A valley between the two sand hills. Wow. I don't think I want to try that. It is so beautiful. This is natural beauty. And this is along the trail to Aichuni, Kwakwani. And what else? Takama? Really, really beautiful. Dark the clouds are now. It's yeah, rain. it will rain. rain hard. So yes. Hard. Would the trail get bad when it start raining? Yeah, but don't oh. This, this road is. This, this, water this road is fine and rain. Huh? This water that can be called. No. This are, I think, all is around abandoned. Mine. Abandoned mine? Yeah. This is abandoned mine? I think it's so. I don't really know much history about this place here. Okay. The whole highway. Okay. Lots of fat book trees, but all of them empty right now. Uh, the, that is where the box site uh, Five miles from Linden. It's called Five Mile Road. Yeah, that's the box site road. That's where the box site, all the box site goes in and comes out. Okay. Wow. This is drainage? Oh. This is where the road going to go. This is the This is the This is the
It means there is a signal here. You could get signal. Phone yeah. signal. You can make a call from here. Yeah, you because throughout this area, you don't normally get signal. Yeah. It's, so. like a, it's like a sweet spot here. Everybody find it. just mark it. So when they pass in the trail, they could get a phone call. Okay. That, to get the breakdown so much in the road, but they discover some part of the road, you get a little phone signal. So they just mark it, actually. With the bottles? Yeah, it's marked to the bottle and they put it up. So. Did you the, ever try it cheap, to see if it gets like Yeah, the cheap, the cheap phone works. So um, on Latham Trail, now you find see your phone do get some signals in some parts of our camera in Farsa. So now it's getting, you do pick up some signals with our, our uh, smartphones. Okay. Um, how do you need? A few, five minutes or so less. road on the left is Takama. This is where the military base is, right? Okay. And this is Aichuni. <coughs> straight ahead. We're going to come out back there later. Okay. Then we go down here first. So we're heading into Takama Road yeah, right this now. Is it. So wow. it's about a mile long the road is Aichuni. Okay. Wow. soybean farming this is a massive farm and the savanna stretches as far as the eyes can see this is what it looks like I don't be on this road. Uh -huh. I just be till inside the half day. We want to go there. Okay. We not want to be on the road. Bye, Sophia. Bye. Straight ahead is a factory that milled the soya beans. It's located close to the Takama crossing where we're heading to right now. Here. Oh, and this is uh, the Kama Crossing. Okay. That's the pontoon coming in. And across there, I think he said it's Ibini. Look at this cute yellow 
butterflies. Pontoon belongs to Ghana Livestock Development Board. It's coming from New Amsterdam. On our way to Kwakwani now, and we just made a quick stop to visit this little creek here. We are gonna come back tomorrow to do some cooking, but you're gonna see this in another video. So stay tuned. The water looks so inviting, and we're tempted to go in and take a dip. But after this long drive from so early in the morning, we're already tired and can't wait to reach the hotel. We want to take a rest and grab something to eat. So this is a nice little break from the long journey. And we're soaking in this beautiful scenery, this lovely atmosphere. So we're hitting the road again and we're continuing our journey along the Kwakwani Road. used to be a straight road to take you straight across to Kwakwani village but because of flooding we have to take a pontoon across so the road is supposed to continue all the way but there's a flooding right now and we have to go on top of this pontoon. It's 
So I guess the bus was there first. Riverfront. Riverfront. Okay. Oh, but actually, this is supposed to be a road? This is the road where you walk. It's flooded right in Jacob. Uh, oh, that's why. Straight the There? That's the road? Since when they got the flooding? Uh, about two months now. But it went down and it came back again. Okay. Uh, yeah. So when it gets spring tide, the water is shut down and come up. Oh, okay. okay. It's like actually the road one straight to the tire in. Uh huh. That's the road one is straight. Where that? Where? where? Right there? Okay, that's the actual road. Okay, okay. It's basically a driving with a scooter in the front. No, it's driving the street. I'm carrying water. Driving the water. The water is where the road is. It's not deep now. When it gets spring, the water is coming from and raised. This is why it's up. Oh, okay. So there's not nothing for the, there's not nothing for the um, government to know. They can't fix this, anything. It's a disaster. So when the water goes down, that drops. Oh, I see, okay. Water's got to the top of the top. Yeah, 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 okay, right. okay. And only spring tide and and uh, yeah, water. Yeah. I just really or when the public water drop it and go up. You live in here? I'm working up here, but I'm up here for a few months. I see, okay, okay, okay. So something like you you're custom this in the spring tide. Yeah. It's good oh. right now. It's good? Okay. Yeah, there were points there were points when all the houses were covered, literally covered. Wow, yeah. over there? Yep, literally covered. Wow, that high? That high, yeah. Oh my god. Oh, wow. <laughs> they have a London over here? No. The they don't... land is the London. Huh? The land, the land is the London, not the real London. out of the boat. Okay. So this is like a makeshift kind of boat? Or what? Yeah, 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 yeah. Somebody yeah, yeah. okay. Yeah, yeah. Out of wood. Out of wood. Like a pontoon, but this is something local. Yeah, yeah. Because normally they get this, this steel pontoon or, or something, right? Yeah, yeah. Huh? Right, that's the steel one over there. There's one there. Local resident build this? Yes. Okay, does he invent this or this is a normal thing that they make? Yeah, he invented. He invented? Yes. He's very smart, yes. Erzy. How do we do it? How do we do it? You work on yes. it to build this? Yes. Very good. Own it huh? It's our building itself. You build it with the owner of the boat? Yes. Good. <laughs> How long he has this? One year now. Oh, he recently did this for service for the yeah. residents in here. Yeah, yeah. So people to cross, otherwise how would they cross? Yeah. It's just like a second one? Yeah. Okay. Wow. He's smart, though. Yeah. <laughs> so all the other boat builders? Okay. We actually move in here, but you can't really tell because it's so heavy, right? <laughs> yeah, it's going really slow. It's beautiful. It's a really nice area. You operating it with this boat? You operating it with this boat? Oh. I'm taking you out. Yes, yes. Huh? <laughs> oh, so this is what is powering this part too. Power 
more engine to push this boat. This boat to... Kwakwani airstrip. So we'll end this video here now guys, make sure you look out for part 2, we're heading to our hotel now to take a rest and we'll see you back. Thank you so much for watching guys, I do hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for always supporting the Shabna show and thank you again for always sharing and liking my content. Um, please, please continue to do so, I really appreciate it and thanks again to the Ghana Cultural Association of New York for the award and the recognition. Thanks again to all of you for making it happen. And do remember to like, share, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Thanks again for watching guys, and I'll see you in my next video.